Hey everyone, it's Rachel and in this video I have a cute little card for you for the fall time. So we're going to do an A2 size card which is four and a quarter by five and a half and we're going to have 110 pound cards 110 pound cardstock for your base and then we're going to use 80 pound cardstock for your panel. I'm also going to be using Concord and Knight's Playful Pumpkin set. And we're going to be using some pumpkins and some um, of the either I think we're going to do Hello Autumn or we might do Thankful and then we're also going to be using the coordinating dies for that because I want to create a cute little pattern using the Recollections cardstock paper pad. This is the, let me see here, it's a boho themed but I thought this was screaming fall fall colors right so it is 65 pound car sack which will work perfectly especially if you're going to mail it out so that way it's not too heavy so let's go ahead and decide um i think what we'll do is we'll go ahead and stamp first and then we'll pick out our colors my misty here I'm going to place some scrap piece of card stock it is you can even tell it's scrap piece was not cut straight um it is 80 pound cardstock i believe is what it is and then i'm gonna peel this up here let me get that off and then i will let's see now i'm trying to think do i want to i'm not sure if i want to um do some heat embossing I'm going to go ahead and heat emboss the pumpkins because I think that that's what I want to do. Um, just kind of playing around with it. Let me get that cleaned off. Okay, so we'll get that there. And then we'll bring in this one. And then we'll bring in this one here. Okay, and then what else do we want to bring in? I think that's all we're going to have room for. Yeah, okay. Close that up. Bring that back over. I was originally going to just do black, but I think it's just going to make more sense if we do some heat embossing. So that's just the game plan. Okay. Bring that over. Press it down really good. Make sure we get a good impression. And set that back in the corner again to get a better impression. Yep, I think that did it. Okay, and I'll move that over here out of the way. And then bringing in my collector of all things. I think I'm gonna do a matte gold. I was gonna do a glitter tinsel or tinsel gold, but you know what, I think I'm gonna go with the matte look. Well, I guess it's not too matte, but uh, no glitter, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So I'm just going to pour that on to my cardstock, let it sit for a second, and then brush it off. Okay. All right, I might have done it the wrong side with that, but you know what? That's okay. Um... I can always cut another one, but I'm not sure if it's going to be a big deal because I have an idea of what we're going to be doing, and I think we'll be fine. Okay, I'm going to bring in my brush because, not that this really matters, but I just want to make sure I clean up, oops, clean it up just a little bit. Okay, that's fine. I'm just, that's what this dry brush is for, right? All right, then... I'm going to bring in my heating tool, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this heat up first, and then um, I can start to melt that. Okay, got that all melted, and then I think what I'm going to do is I am going to bring in some tape here. 
because I'm going to need to tape this so I can cut it. And I think I'm going to have to end up, because this is going to be too wide. Over this over here. Yeah, it's going to be too wide. It's going to have to get this trimmed a little bit so that way it will run through uh, the machine I have here. Okay. So, I'm going to bring this in. And oh, just barely made it. Oh my goodness. Should have put this on here first, right? Let's bring in my little We Are Memory Skipper die cutting machine. And then I'm going to flip this over here. And then bring in my plates. And then we'll get this cut out. Okay. Let's see how it did with alignment. Oh, that is super cute. I'm loving it. And I like the white stem because, I know it's not called a stem, whatever it's called. Um, I like the playfulness of it um, because it's going to match our card base. So I like that. All right, cool. So those are our two little pumpkins. It looks like I just need to trim up just the one area. So I'm going to try to do that ever so carefully. Here we go. We got off center just a little bit. It's gonna look cute. All right. Um, all right. So let's get this off of my card base. I don't need that. Okay. Bringing my machine back in, locking it into place. We'll put that on there, and then give us a good spin. Don't need that anymore, so we can move that out of the way. And then this should be good to go. We're going to carefully peel back that tape, that washi tape. Okay. And now we have our three pumpkins. Okay, now that we got our really pretty pumpkins all cut out, um, I'm going to move these to the side because we don't need them just quite yet. And we're going to go ahead and select, I'm not sure um, if we're going to use all of the paper that's available in this pack, but because um, there's quite a bit of different variations of colors and they're all really pretty and I just think that's going to be too because I think I'm going to do quarter inch slices, and I think that's just going to be too much. Um, it's going to be too thick for the size that we're doing a size or a two size card size. And I just think that if we do quarter inch, um, well, actually, let's let's do the let's do the math here. If we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's going to be two inches, and our card base is going to be four and a half. And these are basically, well, actually, we might do all of them. That might work out. All right, so we'll just get one of each. And then we'll see if we need to adjust our color or adjust from there. So let me just get them all out. Aren't these colors were really pretty. They're not, I mean... Again, it wasn't labeled for fall, but I just thought that this could really be good for fall. In fact, when I bought it, if I'm being completely honest, all I, I didn't read the title of it. And I'm like, oh, those are really pretty colors for, for fall. And then I realized it's boho theme. That's all right. Okay. So we have all of our cards stock. Let's bring in my paper trimmer. So this is right at six. So I just need to go a quarter inch, right? Yeah. Perfect. All right. There's one. Right, now what's great about this is this still doesn't use a lot of cardstock so that's amazing let's bring in our card base here and um let me yeah let me get this 
set in my mat. I kind of just place them where I think that I'm going to like them to be placed. And I'm using my grids to help line this up. And I think what I'll do is I'll start with the bottom one. Okay, so I just need to one, let's see here, one, two, yeah, two, okay. So I will get this first one lined up. Okay. Don't need it to go that long. And then bring it in this. We got one, two, and again, I'm just making sure it lines up with the grids on my glass mat. So that will help make sure that it goes completely straight. And push that up against that. Right, I think that is really good. So what I'll do is I'll peel this tape. Okay. And then I'm going to bring in my paper trimmer. Go ahead and get this trimmed off. Look how pretty that is. Oh my goodness. Okay. Okay, so here is our card base and panel. I'm bringing in the pumpkins. And I am thinking of... I'm not sure of the placement. And let me see here. Okay, what we'll do is we'll stamp this next, actually. I think that's going to be a better idea. Okay. Bringing in my car base here. Um, bringing in this one, and I think I'll say autumn and then I think we're also going to be using hello you know what we'll, we'll add that here in a moment let's just get this into place and then we'll bring this one little this little guy in so tiny stamp this up really good Did really good. Just using a baby wipe to give this a good clean. And then we will bring in the word hello. Looks good. All right. Let's get this cleaned off. And then we'll have to finish the card. All right. I decided I'm going to go with just the one. And I'm going to leave the stem white again. I know it's not called the stem. Whatever it's called. And yeah. I think... Because I had these from a previous project. Or, oh, do we want to do um, some leaves? And just let this speak for itself, right? I just kind of like the one. I think we might just do the leaf. I just kind of like the simplicity of it, um, of this card. That's kind of like the vibe that I'm going for. I think before I put that on, I'm going to go ahead and put some um, double-sided tape here to bring it in my panel. Now I just added some double-sided tape, um, foam tape I should say, and we're just going to place this on our uh, base here. And I just like just how this looks just on its own. Um, do we, I mean, do we even need the foam tape, or do we even need the leaf? I mean, yeah, we do. Okay. I heard you loud and clear, guys. <laughs> and there we go. The finished product. I, you know, I don't even like how this is looking. Let me... Yeah, I think that's better. And there we go. Alright, well, thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.